Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just did a laser tip and tri tips and tricks on a new product from Enduro Mark that will mark glass and ceramic. So if you want more information, you can watch that video, Laser Tips and Tricks. But I highlight, and the picture is not very good quality, but to highlight Tony or the Exxon Tiger, whoever this guy is, I etched the glass first, and then I sprayed it with Enduro Mark, put it back in the laser, etched it again, then washed it off, and the etching makes it makes him look, now this Tony is on a white background, and this one's on a white background, so it works. But on a glass, on like a just regular glass, you need to show him off a little bit more, in my opinion, and I think it worked pretty well. Now we're gonna, we're, we've set our nudge factor to uh, 2.5, so we can nudge this guy out of the way in a second. So, you see that nothing is, this is one group, so your shape tool does not work, or your sh welding tools don't work. But if you go to object and shaping, your boundary tool will work. Now we're gonna nudge that boundary out of the way, and that's our boundary. Now I'm gonna go to effects and contour, and I'm gonna contour to the outside using the round one, like 0.1. Let's see what it does. That's probably a little bit big. Let's back up here and let's go 0 0.05. That way it just gave us a little bit of a contour around it. I used the round corner so we're getting more uh, rounded instead of squared. I'm going to go to object and I'm going to break the contour apart. I'm going to select the red one and I'm going to nudge it out of the way. Matter of fact, I'm going to delete it. Now we're going to take this and we're going to fill it. And on, if you're doing this on glass, everybody's always said do 80% black. So I'm going to fill it in with 80% black. Then take both these items, and because you use your nudge, and I'm using my laser bed right here um, for the Enduro Mark, so let's just move this stuff out of the way. And let's nudge this guy over. Let me zoom in here. And let's grab both of them and put them on my laser bed. For some reason that's really big because my laser bed is really small. Let's make our, well, we'll just leave it alone. So let's get these out of the way. So what I would do is put it in your laser bed like that, grab it and move it over. Then take the tiger and move it up out of the way pretty good. Move this back to exactly where it was. Run that in your laser at recommended glass speed. I found it actually works better for this instance to run it at 600 dot print so you get a cleaner white frosted look. Then take your glass out and spray it with a Enduro Mark for ceramic or glass. Bring your Tiger back in. Let the spray dry just a little bit. It almost sprays instantaneously. And then run this and you will get that look where it's frosted around this. You know, if, it's kind of hard to see. This is on a white background. I put a white napkin behind this one. This picture is terrible. But on a glass, it wouldn't really stand out. If you did this on a drinking glass, it's going to pop. So give them a try. EnduroMark.com. I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.